you're changing out the bulb of the Sony projector. Ours is upside down. This is how we installed it so we could attach it to the ceiling. So we're gonna be fixing it like it's on top, but it's really on bottom of the unit. And we're gonna be fixing the filter too. And that's also on the bottom. So first thing we're gonna do is unplug it so it doesn't have power going to it anymore. Then we're gonna unscrew the screw that's right here on this lid. There's just one, so you unscrew it. There's three screws in here. One in this corner, one in this corner, and one in this corner that you unscrew. Okay, once all the screws are undone, then you just wiggle it until it comes out and pull it out all the way. That's the old bulb, and here's the new bulb right here. So you're trying to line up those two holes in here to where it goes in, right there. So you're putting it in so those connect. It in good and then put those three screws back in. Screws are tightened, so now we're just gonna put that lid back on and screw in the screw. And while we're up here working on it, we should be cleaning out the filter too so we can prolong the life of this bulb and it's up front. We're on the bottom of it trying to take it off of the ceiling so that we can be able to replace the filter that every once in a while pops up on the screen of the projector, like when you're watching something saying the filter needs to be replaced. So we're just going to replace that since we just replaced the bulb because it actually helps make the bulb lifetime a lot longer to have that filter cleaned out. So it's those silver screws for us. We just actually unscrewed those two screws metal screws in front and then he swing out the side things so that we could just access the front thing by pulling it out. So this is what it looks like on when it's in there. You just have to squeeze those two buttons and lift up and then that's the part that needs to be pulled out. In there. A little foam piece. We'll just rinse out the plastic and probably Okay, so it's clean and dry, and we're gonna put it back in. So, just popping it back in. But like I said, these we just had to move these, like slide them out so there'd be enough room to put it in, so we didn't have to take off the whole thing off the ceiling. There's just two screws. Okay, those are back in, and now we're just gonna plug the power back in and push the power. You know the power's on when that green light starts flashing. It's loading up right now. We have our projector in the next room from our theater room so that it heats up. It's actually in a closet. It heats up the closet instead of heating up the theater room. So it's projecting through to the theater room. Right We're back in business again. Once you have uh, your new bulb installed, it'll say, please replace your filter, like the red lettering. You have to reset that. Here's how you reset that. You push menu on the remote, and then it's gonna bring you to a screen like this. So you go down to the suitcase, and then you gotta go over to the right. And you gotta go down to lamp settings, select lamp setting. And then it pops up this screen right here. Move it over to yes. And then that resets it. Um, and then you push OK. Resetting that will make it so that it won't have that pop up in the bottom screen for lamp or filter. So that's why replacing the light and cleaning out the filter at the same time would be a good idea. Here's the model name and serial number for our projector.